Hallelujah. Come on, we stand up and we give God praise in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. Uh, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, we praise you, we praise you, oh God. Hallelujah. Father, we lift you up. We magnify you. We glory in your presence. You are worthy, Master. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We bless you. We honor our King. There is none like you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are worthy, hallelujah, Jesus, we bless you, oh God, we magnify thee, you are holy, 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 worthy is the Lamb, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Uh, we magnify thee, O oh God. Uh, there is none. There's none like you. Uh, there's none in the earth. Uh, holy like our God. Uh, honorable. Uh, faithful. Uh, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Uh, we magnify the old great God. Huh? Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy, oh God. Huh? Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? Great and mighty is our God. Huh? You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Yeah. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, it's an honor. Huh? It's a privilege to come into your presence. Huh? It's an honor to magnify you. Huh? To give you glory and honor. Huh? Lord God, to have the strength. Huh? To come into your house on this day. Uh, to magnify the name of Jesus. Uh, to bless the holy God. Uh, the great God. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. 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 Oh God. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. We honor our King in the name of Jesus. You are worthy, O oh Master. Thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for the strength of God. Thank you, Lord God, for being on the throne of grace and mercy. Thank you for new mercy this morning. My God, my God, thank you for new mercy. And Father, now we come before thy throne asking you, almighty God, to forgive us. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of our thoughts and the imaginations of our hearts. Forgive us of those things in our, our minds, those actions, oh God. Forgive us Lord God, the words that we have uttered that are contrary unto you. Lord, we praise you, O oh God, for being our master, being Lord Jehovah, being the one who provides. Father, we just want to thank you. We want to thank you. We want to thank you. We want to thank you, O oh God, for the many healings that you have performed in this ministry. We want to thank you. Lord God, for seeing to it that we made it to this destination this morning. Father, we want to thank you for this ministry. 
Lord God, we ask, oh God, in this day that you bring healing into those who are sick in the body. Touch our mothers, oh God, on this day. My Lord, that you continue to give them longevity. Father, that you keep them in health. Keep them out of the hospitals, Master. We pray for them, oh God, who are sick and shut in. Those, Lord God, who are waiting even tests, oh God. Father, bring healing into their bodies. Uh, my God, give them the confidence in their God. Father, we pray for our nation. We pray for our president. We pray for our government. We pray for unity. My God, in the government, we pray for unity in the nation. We pray, Lord God, for the moving of your spirit. We come, Lord God, that you destroy, my God, every, every sickness, every infirmity. Lord God, that you destroy the works of the enemy that's warring up against, oh God, the kingdom of our Christ. Father, give us a mind to yield to the cross today. Give us the word from heaven. Feed us, almighty God. Build up our faith, Lord God. My God, that our faith will stand in the power of God. We pray for all of them who are on the way to this location. Father, that you bring them here safely. Lord God, and that when we leave here, my God, we will be made stronger in the Lord. We pray for the worship team as they come forth. Lord God, that they, as they sing, that you give them the words, oh God, that, to minister unto us in song. Strengthen them, oh God, in this hour. We pray for our musicians today. My God, that you keep them in health and prosperous. We thank you, Lord. We pray for the man of God about to bring forth the bread of life, that he feed us from heaven, that you touch his body, strengthen him in the spirit. Lord God, let your anointing be upon him like never before. Do it for thy glory in Jesus' name. Come on and give our God some glory. Come on, saints of the Most High God. Come on as we welcome the praise team. Come on, come on. We magnify thee, O oh God. For you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Come on and give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on and give God glory. Come on and put your hands together. Hallelujah. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. 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 Hands up, hearts open. Wide as the sky, we lift you high, we lift you high, hands up, hearts open, wide as we cry, Lord, we lift your name high, hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. We lift you high, we lift you high, hands up, hearts open, wide as we cry. Lord, we lift your name high, say hands up, hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. We lift you high, we lift you high. Hearts open, wide we cry. Lord, we lift your Lord, name high. Lord, we lift your name high. Say hands up, hands up. Hearts open, wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. Hands up, hands up. Hearts open, wide. Lord, we lift your Lord, name we high. Lift your name high. Say hands up, hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. 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 Hands up, hearts 
come and take your place. Oh, let all the other names. Let all the other names fade away. Until there's only you. Let all Jesus take your place. Jesus, take your place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give God glory. Hallelujah. Every name has to fade away. Hallelujah. There's nobody greater than our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Jesus is his name. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus is a strong power. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. We call on the name that's above every name. Hallelujah. Come and take your place. Hallelujah. Come and have your way, Jesus. Come on and take your place, Jesus. Come on and have your way, Jesus. Come on and take your place, Jesus. We invite you in, hallelujah. We welcome you in, hallelujah. You are our king, hallelujah. And you are invited, hallelujah, to come in, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome you in, God. We welcome you in, God. We welcome you in, Jesus. We welcome you in, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We welcome you in. Hallelujah. We welcome you in. We welcome you in. We welcome you in. It is an open invitation to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on in, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We invite you in. Come on in and suck with us, hallelujah. Dwell amongst your people, hallelujah. 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 We need you, hallelujah. In our presence, hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Take your place, hallelujah. Glory, glory, take your place, hallelujah. Take your place, Jesus, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. As we offer up the praise unto your name, his name, the name above every name, the name that every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to have to confess that Jesus, he is Lord. He is Lord. Oh, I felt that right there. Y'all remember this? He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. See, don't want to sing songs like that no more. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. One more time, he is Lord. One day, every knee. lets me know and it's his way of putting me in check that he is in control because he is Lord so if I'm going to serve him I must do what my Lord says it is not my intent to be before you long um, we living in serious times and I don't know if you're watching but people are being exposed for who they really are and what they really are not. There's a lot of people that we thought were like us, but underneath, they're raving in wolves. The Bible also lets us know that if it were possible, that he would fool the very elect. But we take this thing for granted. We, 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 we play with it. And I didn't get in this to play with it. When the Lord saved me, he sure enough saved me. Because if I was going to play with it, I could have been still on Christian Brothers right now. I'm being real. Hallelujah. So I made a choice up here in my mind. I'm going to serve the Lord and I'm going to serve him uprightly. Regardless of what you say, what you do, how you treat me, how you talk about me, or even how you love me, I'm going to serve the Lord. I can't get no church and I ain't even start preaching yet. Amen. But I'm thankful to be here this morning because it's another day that the Lord has kept me. Hallelujah. And I thank him for it. I want to give honor to my pastor, Bishop Cook. 
his wife, Evangelist Cook. God bless them. I love them dearly. Amen. Amen. The Elder Jones, Evangelist Jones, God bless you. Amen. Amen. To my minister. That's my minister. She's been ministering before she became a minister. Hallelujah. Some of y'all will get that next week. Can't minister and don't minister. That's a, that's a series right there all by itself. But there is a word from the Lord. Amen. I pray that you receive it. Because um, he, uh, he messed me up with it. So uh, I guess I'll just pass it on. Amen. Exodus, the 32nd chapter. Exodus 32, and we're going to read verses 1 through 5. And of course, as our pastor would say, I'm going to drop off and wet my throat and let y'all read. And I would love to hear your voices read. Amen. Amen. But first, I'm going to go before the Lord in prayer. Father, now in the name of Jesus. It is again, God, I come to say thank you. Lord God, I thank you for life. I thank you for health. And I thank you, O oh God, for strength. For I realize, God, if it had not been for you, O oh God, there's no telling where I would be right now. I thank you, O oh God, because you saw fit to save me, O oh God. I thank you, O oh God, that you gave me a purpose in life. I thank you, O oh God, for what you're doing in my life, even now, O oh God, and I give you praise. Thank you for what you're doing in the lives of thy people, O oh God. Father, right now, I repent of my sins. Anything in me, O oh God, that I've said, that I've thought, that I've even considered, I repent right now in the name of Jesus. God, I want to be holy. I want to be righteous before you, O oh God. Lord God, I don't come for form or fashion, but I come... O oh God, in the name of the Lord, Father, have your way this day, O oh God. Anoint the ears of thy people, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to consider our ways, O oh God. Lord God, that we draw closer unto you, O oh God. For you said in your word, if we draw nigh to you, you'll draw nigh to us. My God, we thank you now, O oh God. We praise you right now. We come against the wiles of the devil. We come against every plot, every plea, every scheme, O oh God, every wicked device right now in the name of Jesus. We call it subject by the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, we give you glory even now, O oh God. Lord God, sit me down, O oh God, and let your spirit rise up in me, O oh God. Help me to utter the words that you have ordained, O oh God, that these thy people can hear and live and grow thereby. And we thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Again, Exodus, the 32nd chapter, verses 1 through 5. Are we there? Amen. Let us read. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us, for as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. Read. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. You may have your seats. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you love the Lord, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This morning... We're going to be talking from the topic, don't switch up on me. 
don't switch up on me. You know, in life, there'll be people who you'll come across that will become your friend. And, you know, a bond will become strong. You hang out together, you go out to eat. Sometimes you even wear the same type outfit, you know, uh, when you weren't saved uh, in this house. You know, you went to the club and, you know, you met up there and, you know, everything. You had your words you had to say, you know, you know what line you was going to run on the next girl you saw, you know. And, you know, well, I'm going to go talk to this one, you go talk to that one. Why y'all acting like I'm talking a strange language in here? And, huh. All of a sudden, one day, things begin to change. Now your views are not the same. Something happened to the relationship. And I'm here to tell you that God has a way of preserving you and then snatching you out. Now I can testify about my own life, you know, because I was that guy. I had partners galore. We all had that same thing in common. Praise the Lord. I think I've told some of y'all this before. But I'm going to just listen to me. And we hung tight. I'm talking about real tight. Then one day, long story short, I got knocked upside the head by the Lord. Changed my life. Well, first I got married. None of them were married. But I was still hanging out with him. Mm -hmm. I was. Coming home in the same condition I was before I got married. Mm -hmm. She'll tell you. And then the Lord really saved me when she got saved. Because my hypocrite self would go and drink, come in here and sing the songs of Zion. And she was trying to get her life right with the Lord. She switched up on me. She messed me up. Mm -hmm. I had no choice but to come clean and realize how wretched I was. But see, we, we take these things for granted. The Lord is trying to show us how wretched some of us are, but we're ignoring the warning sign. There's something in us that God wants to deal with, but we won't allow it because we rather hold on to the bond of this world more so than the bond of God. Where you going with this? Aaron. Moses' brother. I said Moses' brother. He was appointed by God to be Moses' spokesperson. You know, I, I heard him last week refer to how, you know, Minister German did the stuttering for Moses. So that's why uh, Aaron was Moses' spokesperson. But I'm trying to figure out how did Moses get this problem when he was trained in the best classes in Egypt. How is it now that you realize you got a stuttering problem when it's never been mentioned before? When you had rank, when you had clout, now when it's time to do the work of the Lord, I can't talk. I can't pray. I can't read a scripture. I can't lead nobody in the way. I, I, I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. Mm -hmm. So, after the spokesperson, then Moses told Aaron what God said. You'll find this in Exodus chapter 4. You can do your study. God talked to Moses. Moses talked to Aaron. Aaron relayed the message to Pharaoh. Y'all missed that. God talked to Moses. Moses talked to Aaron. Aaron talked to Pharaoh. There's one word that describes that, and that is order. There was no bypassing and going around. It was order. 
From the very beginning, God has strategic order. We've been taught in this house that God has an order. And there should be an order about every born-again, blood-washed believer in this house today. Hmm. So time goes on, and Aaron has four sons. you find that in Exodus chapter 6. Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Unfortunately, two of them got killed because they offered strange fire unto the Lord. They offered God something that he did not recognize. We can't just give God any kind of praise and think that he's going to move on my behalf. Well, I went to church and I did my dance and I'm still in the same. Well, that was strange fire to the Lord. Is your heart right? So, I start asking questions. I told him in the men's meeting, I'm beginning to ask the scriptures questions. I'm beginning to drill down in this thing. Yes, we can preach off the pages and make you sing and say, yeah, but it doesn't help me. I need to understand why did these two sons get killed and the other two did not? What is it that Aaron did or did not do to cause this with his sons? They were raised as priests of the Lord. They were raised in an order. So what happened that they became out of order? Is it because of something that might have been in daddy that daddy didn't dwell with? Here we find in the 32nd chapter of Exodus. The Bible says, and when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down out of it. Now think about something. Now they was in bondage for over 400 something years. And because he took a few days to come down, they got impatient. Something don't add up. It said they gathered themselves together unto Aaron, Moses' assistant, and said unto him, up. Now, if you look in your Bible, it may have the capital U-P. That means authority. That means get up, bro. Ain't no more sitting down. We, we tired of this right here. Make us gods. Which shall go before us, for as this Moses, now, now he this Moses. When we get to the point to where we just disrespect leadership. That's another series right there. For this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we walk not, in other words, we know not what is become of him. Why do you have to know everything that the man, the woman of God is doing? Is that your business? Regardless if you pay tithes or not. I just told you God has a divine order. I want to take a pause for something because uh, Bishop alluded to something and I, I had to go check it out myself, which I heard it, but I read it. You know, now, I know we lie and I want people to understand what I'm saying. I'm not against too much of what's happening now. I understand the process. I understand what's going on. But when you start coming against a structure that God has set up, then I have a little problem with it. I can't go but so far with you. The Black Lives Matter movement states in what they're about. It says, we are self-reflexive and do the work required to dismantle uh, cisgender privilege and uplift black trans folk, especially black trans women who continue to be disproportionately impacted by trans antagonistic violence. We build a space that affirms black women and is free from sexism, misogyny, and environments in which men are centered. We practice empathy. We engage comrades with the intent to learn about and connect with their context. 
We make our spaces family friendly and enable parents to fully participate with their children. We dismantle the patriarchal practice that requires mothers to work double shifts so that they can mother in private even as they participate in public justice work. We disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement by supporting each other as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another, especially our children, to the degree that mothers, parents, and children are comfortable. Hmm. We foster a queer-affirming network when we gather. We do so with the intention of freeing ourselves from the tight grip of heteronormative thinking or rather the belief that all in the world are heterosexual unless she or they disclose otherwise. If you go on the website, this is what you will find. We are taught in this house that if you are in something, you need to understand the origin of it. You need to understand everything about it and what's going on before you sign your name and say, I'll join. See, there was years when I didn't do that. When I joined this organization, I didn't fully understand what all was going on. Now, I'm a man of God now. And when the light came on, I realized that I was in something that was not altogether about the Lord. There are some truths in there, but you know it takes some truths to make a lie. So they told this man to get up, make us gods, because we don't know about this man named Moses. Now he gone, he been gone for about a few days now. And Aaron said unto, the, unto them, break off the golden earrings. Now I stopped right there. I stopped. Because how is it you're so easily swayed unless you had somebody in your ear? Itching ears. Aaron had a problem. But we don't see that. I didn't see it either until I started asking questions. Aaron said unto them, break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears, and brought them unto Aaron. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graven tool. So he had skill. He had carpentry skills. He was a man that could do this type of work. He had a skill. And he didn't realize they was exploiting his skill. Some of you are anointed, but you let people exploit your anointing. After he had made it a molten, after he had made it a molten calf, I want y'all to remember that. I just said that, okay? And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. They messed up because now they're giving the glory of God to a golden calf. And that is idolatry. That is one of the commandments of God. Which Moses, by the way, was up there getting. Verse 5 says, and when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. Somebody shout strange fire. Strange fire. Now we understand where in Nadab and Abihu since, you know, when in the genealogies in the Bible, the first name is usually the oldest name, and then the next one, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. Am I right? So the oldest and next to the oldest died because daddy had issues that he didn't deal with. How many issues that you got that you're not dealing with right now, you got children? Don't you realize that you put your children at risk? 
You want to send them to church, but yet you, you, you talk church, but you don't have church in you. Children are sensitive to spirits. They realize that there is something about you that's different, and then you wonder why they won't get saved, because you're really not saved. They just being real and you being fake. Hmm. Now, the definition to the word switch means a change from the usual. It also means to give up something and take something else in return. Now, that sounds kind of similar to sacrifice, but it is not. To give up something and take something else in return. Mm -hmm. Now, I looked up in the Urban Dictionary. There is one, you know. And the word switch up is in the Urban Dictionary. It says, someone who changes actions or mannerisms at a moment's notice with friends and associates. Mm -hmm. Can I say that again? Someone who changes actions or mannerisms at a moment's notice when friends, with friends or associates. How many people say that they'll be with you to the end and all of a sudden they switch up on you and now they're gone? How many of them ones your first love say, we're going to get together, we're going to get married, and all of a sudden the next fine thing come, they gone and left you? They done switch up on you. They might have switched up for the same kind as they are. I can't get no church. Hallelujah! They don't switch up on you. It also means when you used to be close with someone and now you're not because they are not who they try to appear to be. All us that had our prayer partners all us that had you know the ones that we can call and, and talk scripture with but now we went from talking scripture to talking about somebody. Instead of praying for folk, we praying on folk. Mm. Y'all don't like me now. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that movie Tyler Perry put out, A Family That Prays? Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. My favorite part is nearing the ending, in the dining room, the diner. Mm -hmm. Elder, you like violence? No, I don't like violence. I do not. The Lord knows I sure ain't gonna try that. But the fact of the matter is, that person got fed up because of the switch up. Bad things can happen when you switch up. All right, let's get back. So, in verse number 21, the words of Minister Quentin, I'm hasting. And Moses said unto Aaron, What did this people, what did this people unto thee that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them? Aaron, what did you do? What happened to you that you allowed these people to talk you out of what God has talked us into? And Aaron said, let not the anger of my Lord wax hot. Now he being respectable. Because he was with him. He was with them people when they were talking about this man, Moses. Mm -hmm. He was right there. Because they were talking to him. Thou knowest the people that they are set on mischief. So now he's doing a, 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 a switch up and pushing the blame off on them. But you, sir, were in charge. Somebody say in charge. When you are in charge, you do as the instructions that have been left for you. You follow those instructions. And then if you don't understand the instructions, praise the Lord, what do you do? 
you go back to the one that gave you the instructions. We are taught this here. Amen. It is the same principle in life, on your job, in your home. It does not matter. How you say I'm supposed to cook this meat? You ask. Verse 23 says, For they said unto me, Make us gods, which shall go before us. For as this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. Now he said exactly what they said. Verse 24, And I said unto them, Whosoever hath any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me, then I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf. Somebody shout, lie. lie. The Bible says, verse 4, and he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool. After he had made it a molten calf. So he made something that was in his own mind. That's right. What's in your mind that's keeping you lying? What's in your mind that's keeping you from serving the Lord uprightly? What happened to you that you switch up on me just like that? You know me. You understand me. You see my nakedness. And you take my nakedness and use it as an excuse to switch up on me. While I was gone, Aaron, I've been getting words from the Lord. I've been getting instructions from the Lord. You know where I was. Why didn't you inform the people when they said they didn't know where I was? You should have told them he's in the presence of the Lord getting instructions for our future. But no, I found out a problem. Sometimes we don't want to hear what the younger says. Because if you do your homework, Aaron was older than Moses. Same situation in Joseph's day. How is it that the younger going to tell me what to do? Couldn't that have been an issue that he didn't deal with in his own mind? So he thought he'd make a name for himself and do what the people wanted. Now that he's caught, now he's pushing it on the people. I cast it into the fire and there came out this calf. Like he performed some kind of magic trick. He didn't know what was going to come of it. He just broke it off, put the gold in. Whoa, a calf. Some of us can make up some crazy lies. Mm-hmm. I'm saying it. We can lie up something. we rather lie than tell the truth. You already caught. The Bible says confess your faults one to another. If you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. I sin, I go before God, I confess, I get it right with who I had an error with, and I am free of that. I don't have that bondage on me. Don't switch up on me. And see, he didn't learn. Check this out. So, the Bible says, and when Moses saw, verse 25, that the people were naked, Look at this. For Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies. So now, he putting them out there. You know how he put them on blast. He caused it. And because he did this, then Moses, verse 26, stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him, and he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, 
Put every man his sword by his side and go in and out from the gate to gate throughout the camp and slay every man his brother and every man his companion and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses. And there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men. For Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his son and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. So they killed the sin that was in the camp. And it was all because leadership did not do their job. We looking at this world today, if leadership is not doing their job, we're going to cause more people to be contaminated with this other stuff that's out here. We're going to cause people to die spiritually. People are looking for a leader. Those Israelites waited on Moses for over 400 and some years. They waited all this long time to die soon as they get out of Egypt. Because they were taken out of Egypt, but Egypt was not taken out of them. Just like some of us. We say we're not of the world, but the world is still in your mind. Look at your neighbor and say, don't switch up on me. Then Aaron got his sister involved when Moses got married to Ethiopian. A fine mahogany Egyptian. I mean Ethiopian. They had a problem with it. So they spake against the man of God. They troubled him. He didn't tell God. God heard it. They said, ah, y'all three, y'all come out here. I don't want to do this in front of everybody. See, sometimes we can't do everything out in the open because it'll cause a riffraff in the ministry. So we got to pull you in the office. Let's talk about this right here. So, long story short, you know, they heard from God too. That just like me and Elder Jones going into Bishop. Well, Bishop, you know, we hear from God too. We want our own Sunday. <laughs> Y'all know how that going to go. So he struck her with leprosy. Again, Aaron standing right there. And I'm thinking to myself, why did he get Aaron? This brother got a problem. He need help. He may need a therapist. Y'all laughing. But this brother, the Lord been good to him and he don't even realize it. Just like some of us, the Lord has been good to us, but we don't realize it. We keep doing the same thing that we're doing. So because of this, Aaron told Moses to pray for Miriam. Obviously, he didn't have the relationship himself that he needed with the Lord that he could pray for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Moses prayed. God said, okay. But she's still going to be without the camp seven days. So she held up an entire nation because she couldn't keep her mouth shut. When you talking your talk the way you talk it, who or what are you holding up in your life? That's why the Bible lets us know to be swift to hear and slow to speak. And I'm done. I'm done. I've said what the Lord had me to say. You have been informed. So now what you're going to do with the word that you heard? I'm giving you some history, some background. Learn to ask questions in the scripture that can help you. But you got to stop switching up. 
That is unhealthy. And it leads you nowhere. I get asked all the time, you got your own church yet? Uh-huh. Right here where I've been serving for over 50 something years. Right here. Serving. When you gonna get your, when the Lord says. 